So in the last video, so for the finale of this video, should you or should you not get this headset? My answer to that is yes, you should. I introduced the Oculus Quest 3S. In that video went pretty well, but it does not stop there. There is quite literally a endless list of things you can do with this VR headset. One of them being connecting to your PC to play PC VR games. In this video, I will go over how to connect to Steam VR wired or wireless and how to change the quality of the streaming. Let's start. Like any other VR related video, let's go over the requirements. You will need a VR compatible PC, meaning that it can render your VR space and the game of your choice. Once that's done, make sure that you have a reasonable Steam VR resolution configured. And later in this video, I will help you set up the Oculus resolution per eye. But yeah, that's it. So first, let me show you how to set this up using Steam Link. So first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the Meta Horizon store and you want to search Steam Link and it should be right here. So just click on it, install it, and then you should see start. Now I already have it open. I'm going to open it and you can see I have already configured my PC here, but since this is your first time doing this, you will need to configure it yourself. You go to other computer or it might say just start pairing, click start pairing and then go to your PC, go to Steam Settings Remote Play, and then click on Pair Steam Link. Once you do that, once you do that, then all you need to do is type in this code right here, pair it, and then you should be back here and it should say the name of your PC. Now, all you need to do is just connect. And you should see that eventually it will load and you should see Steam VR. So the quality isn't the best for me. It is a little pixelated. That is the reason why I personally prefer just going wired because it looks way sharper and I don't have to worry about bit rate. But as you can see here, everything has loaded. Steam VR is open. I can close it like normal. I can look around like normal. And yeah, this is the way you would do it just using Steam Link. Now let me show you how to do this the way I personally prefer doing it. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this using Oculus Link, which is way better because it is actually built into the headset, but it does require a few more steps. So first go on to the PC that you're doing this with and install the MetaQuest Link app. And then once you've done that, just go to devices and then go to add headset. Once you follow all these steps there, your headset should show up here. Mine is the Quest 3S and touch. Then that's pretty much it. But before you move on, I do want to show you guys how to actually tune the quality and performance to make sure that everything is solid and you don't run into any lag. So just click on your headset, scroll all the way down and go to graphics preferences. Once you do that, you should see the refresh rate and render resolution. Now, I personally have mine at automatic recommended. And to be honest, to avoid any issues that you may have in the future, I would personally say keep it at recommended. But if you see anything on Google where it says that the best settings for this is for maybe 80 hertz and then maybe at 1.1x, then do that. But just know that you may run into lagging or your games may not run as smooth because this will put stress on your system. The higher these settings are, the more stress that your PC will be going through. So just note that if you set it to 120 hertz and I set it to max render resolution, your games might struggle a lot. But to be honest, if you have a NASA PC, you might be able to go that high. Now all you need to do is go to your settings and then go to the link tab and then you should see link right here make sure it's enabled and then launch now as you'll see here my pc is showing up here but that is because i'm using airlink airlink is basically a wireless connection if you want to do a wired connection which is what i'll be doing you want to disable this if you're doing this wired just follow after me if you're doing this wireless just enable this click here and then pair and then launch now I'm going to disable this. I'm going to click on Rift and then I'll launch. Now, as you see, it is currently loading. And once it gets done loading, I will go into some type of space that will allow me to launch Steam VR. So you can see here that I am in this very unusual space right here, but you'll see more importantly that Steam VR is right here. So you can click this 
sometimes it loads sometimes it doesn't and sometimes you'll just need to go onto your pc and open steam vr like that so i don't know if this is going to run if it doesn't and boom as you can see there everything is working very well you can see my controller there is no bitrate issues this is why i do this the wired method and through quest link because it's just so much better but yeah i mean there's not much else to it you can go here everything is working as it should and i can look around there's never any bitrate issues i'm able to play half-life alex as you'll see in some of the clips in this video or in the last video you've seen i've actually went into pc vr and i've also shown clips of me doing half-life alex and yeah this is honestly very cool and the fact that you can connect to pc vr this easily it's just insane